Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. Today we'll learn how to simplify complex rational expressions. A complex rational expression is just a fraction within a fraction. Here's an example. We have 4 over x all over 3 over y. The first step in simplifying these complex fractions is to find the lowest common denominator for the two small fractions. So we'll find the lowest common, common denominator for 4 over x and 3 over y. And if, you had, if you need a refresher for lowest common denominator, uh, be sure to check out my video on that subject. But in this case, uh, 4 over x and 3 over y's common denominator is x, y. Once we have our lowest common denominator, we're just going to take it and multiply it against the top and the bottom fractions. Uh, be sure to look out for your simplification. So in this case, we know we're going to multiply the top by the common denominator, which is over 1 for both of these. So we can do some cross simplification. The x here simplifies and we're left with the y. The y here simplifies and we're left with an x. So this ends up being equal to 4 times y becomes 4y over 1, and you should know that if we have a number over top of 1, we don't need to write the denominator. So I'm going to write the big fraction bar and go into my next fraction. The y's cancel out, and I have 3x. And that is my final answer. Simplifies out to 4y over 3x. We'll try one more example, this time a little more difficult. We have 1 over x squared minus 1 over y squared, all over 2 over x squared minus 1 over xy minus 1 over y squared. You don't get intimidated by the size of this problem, the process is still the same. We're still going to look for our lowest common denominator of each one of the tiny fractions. So the lowest common denominator of 1 over x squared, 1 over y squared, and so on. So we just look at the denominators for each of these. And when we put them all together, we find out that the lowest common denominator is x squared, y squared. Now what we're going to do is take this lowest common denominator and multiply it against each of these fractions individually. So this goes into that one, and the second one, and the third one, fourth one, fifth one, and so on. Here I redrew it so you can see a little more clearly. We're going to take that common denominator and multiply it with every single fraction. So I'm going to set that common denominator just right next to each of these fractions. And now I'll go through and make sure they simplify. Your clue here is all the denominators should go away. If they don't, then go back and recheck your lowest common denominator. Here, the x squareds cancel out, the y squareds cancel out, x squared cancels out again. Here, both the x and the y cancel out, and we change the exponent in both of these to a 1. So we're going to take away 1x and 1y. And here, the y square cancels out. All right, simplification is done, so I'll just go through and multiply what I have left. I have a y squared minus x squared on the top. And here on the bottom, we have a 2y squared minus xy minus x squared. Now factoring is its in, but you should be able to recognize that y squared minus x squared is a difference of squares, and it factors to y minus x, y plus x. The bottom is a trinomial, which will factor to y minus x, and 2y 
plus x. We see that there's a y minus x on top and a y minus x on the bottom, so they cancel out. And our final answer will be y plus x over 2y plus x. Now, these types of problems get pretty complicated, so if you come across an example you can't figure out, just leave me a comment at the blog, and I'll gladly make a follow-up lesson to answer your questions. Did this lesson help you out? Maybe with some homework or a test or quiz? Hey, let your parents know why you did so well, and maybe even ask them to send a few dollars my way. Head on over to yourtutoronline.com and click on the Donate button to send me your change. I'm only asking a dollar a lesson. That's the cheapest tutoring I've ever heard of. And as always, feel free to leave your comments and questions at the blog at yourtutoronline.com. And do you need more help than a video lesson can offer? Click on the tutoring link on the right-hand side of the page for information about how to set up a private tutoring session with me. We'll see you next time. Class dismissed.